Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're very welcome. And for those of you who have been here before, you're very welcome back. And I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification as well so you'll be notified every time I upload a new festive recipe. Today I am making espresso caramel ice cream and it's a no churn ice cream. It is so super simple to make. Trust me when I tell you, when I show you even how easy this ice cream is to make, you'll never want to buy one again. So we'll get underway. First off, the caramel part, and I do this easily and lazily with this can of condensed caramel. So delicious. I'll keep this to for myself later. Now the first thing I want to do is just, I want to take just two tablespoons of this caramel and reserve it. Perfect. And then add the rest in here. every last bit. Then I have 300 mils of double cream and again I just want to keep two tablespoons back. I'll get to that later on. And that goes. And that's just a matter of mixing these together until we have the consistency of softly whipped cream. I promised you an espresso ice cream and that is exactly what we're going to do now. So I want two teaspoons of instant espresso powder. And if you just have regular coffee and that's absolutely fine too. Just maybe increase it to three or four teaspoons depending on your taste. What is important however is that it is a powder and not granules because if you use granules you will have horrible lumps of dried coffee in your ice cream and nobody wants that. And since it's Christmas, I think a little brandy. Not much here, 25 mils is absolutely fine. This adds flavor, but it also helps the ice cream have a really soft, luscious consistency. And again, we'll just go back in there and give it a quick mix again. is our ice cream all set and ready to go to the freezer. Now, do have a taste. Just in case you do. Now, of course, if you wanted perhaps this ice cream to accompany something like a Christmas pudding, you could certainly double that brandy. Now, the flavors, it will be quite sweet and the flavor is quite strong at this point. But don't forget, you eat ice cream so cold that those flavors are going to be numbed. So you do want it more. It's quite powerful right now. All I need now is something to freeze my ice cream in. And that, guys, quite frankly, is my espresso caramel ice cream. This just needs to go into the freezer now for at least four hours, um, just till it, oh, until it sets its ice cream, of course. And that's it. <laughs> Simple as that. So 
ready for this. I told you earlier on that I would get back to this. So what I did with those couple of tablespoons of cream and caramel that I reserved is I just heated them together. And I'm gonna drizzle the warm caramel over my ice cream. It's just, it is Christmas after all. <laughs> Sensational. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and that you'll give it a go and thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll give this a video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a new festive recipe.